Yeah, so that's a pretty alright end board. A monster negate, a floodgate, and some follow up play with three cards in hand. Let's see how I did that. Alright, so you can perform this combo by opening up Turquoise Warbler plus any of the following Cobalt Sparrow, Tri Brigade Fractal, Fire Formation Tenki, or Foolish Burial. Any of these cards here plus Turquoise Warbler is full combo plus negation. So let's break it down. I'll go for the most basic version of the combo. Alright, what you really need access is to Cobalt Sparrow either in your hand or in the grave. Foolish Burial can send it to the grave, Fractal can send it to the grave, and Tenke can search Fractal which can send it to the grave. Those are the core pieces of the combo. Okay, so let's actually go through the combo, right? So we're going to open up these two plus three cards in hand. So what we're going to do, we control no monsters, we're going to special summon Turquoise Warbler with its effect. Because we've summoned Turquoise Warbler with its effect, we can also then special summon Cobalt Sparrow. Cobalt Sparrow is going to allow us to search a level 1 winged beast, so we're going to go for Tri Brigade Nerval. We're going to go ahead and overlay these two into Recital Starling. Now this does have an on summon effect to give a Lira Lusk Xyz more attack points, but that doesn't matter. Okay, so we're going to detach one from this, which is going to allow us to uh, go ahead and search our Sapphire Swallow. Okay, now Sapphire Swallow, because we control a Wind Winged Beast, it can special summon itself and another level 1 Winged Beast from your hand. Let's go ahead and Xyz these two now. We're going to go ahead and overlay those into Assembled Nightingale. So we now have two Xyz monsters that aren't number monsters with the same rank. So we're going to ditch all those materials, send them all to the graveyard, and we're going to go ahead and overlay these into our Utopic Future, into our Utopic Draco Future. So we now have a big, beefy, utopic Draco future. Alright, but what we actually didn't do that we should have done is, because when these were removed from these Xyz, it triggers Nerval. So Nerval's going to go ahead and search Tri Brigade Kit. Tri Brigade Kit, just to give you a heads up, is our normal summon. So let's go ahead and do that. We're going to normal summon Kit. We have plenty of materials to banish, so let's banish these two. And we're going to go ahead and summon our Harpy Conductor. Harpy Conductor is a Wind Wing Beast Monster. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to link three of these bad boys into Seamorg, Bird of Sovereignty. So Seamorg, Bird of Sovereignty is going to do a couple of things. But first of all, Kit, let me just show you. Kit's going to Foolish Burial a Tri Brigade card to the graveyard, which is going to be our Rendezvous. Okay, so I'll just pop that here so you can see it. All right. That's our rendezvous, and it's going to protect our next card, which is going to be summoned in the end phase, and it's our barrier statue of the storm winds. So on our opponent's turn, if they try and pop this, or if they try and beat over it by battle, we can banish our rendezvous, and then they have to do something else. So without special summoning, they may have a monster effect that goes ahead and tries to pop it. Okay, we'll negate it with Utopic Future. Or it could be that they try and ashes in the end phase. So in the end phase, we're going to go ahead, we're going to see Morg, we're going to try and grab like our Apex Avian or something like that. But they try and drop the Ash. What I'm going to say is no. So they've tried to drop the Ash, I've negated it. And now we have an Apex Avian on board as well for more negations. This is a really fun deck because it just says no first turn. And then every other turn it says no, but a little bit harder. And then all we need next turn is some way into a Tri Brigade. Okay, so even... If we wanted no avian, right, we don't need to summon avian, we could go ahead and summon out a Cobalt Sparrow. Cobalt Sparrow is then going to grab us our second Nerval. And then on our turn, we have loads of material in Graveyard. We can go ahead, we can Nerval. We can then go ahead, use Nerval, banishing. Let's not put Nerval there, that would be silly. Put Nerval over there, banish one, two, three, and summon our Desperate Doom Eagle. That is most definitely game. Okay, because if we look at it, 24, potentially 48, we could use its DD Crow effect. We could put this to attack, it's 1,000, so 24, 48, 1,000, 3,000, yeah, that's already super game. 
don't even need to worry about the fact that these two don't even have any like any attack points. So that's a pretty sick combo. And it's some pretty sick plays. Let's take it to the outro. Guys, as always, if you like the video, give it a like. If you love it, give it a share and tell everyone you know about Team Tally today. And if you haven't joined Team Tally but you've made it this far, then I think you should hit the subscribe button. As always, you have been amazing. I have been Tally. I will catch you all later. Bye.